A 90-year-old chef yeah. is still cooking up recipes at a senior rehab facility in Lakewood. Still going strong. Uh, Danny New was able to meet with Chef Bert. <laughs> Bert's the man. Makes a mean <laughs> banana bread. Uh, I love yeah. him. Uh, and honestly, his life has had some ups and downs, to be honest. But uh, he has found so much joy in feeding thousands and thousands of Coloradans in our state over the last 70 years. For many people, food is a love language. I feel good when I have accomplished something at the end of the day. And that is when I look at their plate and it's empty. I go like this. Okay. This is the case for my new friend, Bert, who has been serving up fresh meals for the seniors at Sandalwood Rehabilitation Center for 16 years now. Special banana bread recipe. That's right. How, how often do you make this? Well, whenever they want it. Bert just turned 90 in December, but nothing can stop him from feeding his residents. Not even a blizzard a few years ago. He woke up, saw multiple feet of snow, and called the police. The Wheatley's police thought like he needed a rescue, so they went to his house, and then he said, my job is very important. I need to feed 80, 90 people. Can you take me to my workplace? He was the only chef that showed up that day. How do you like working in the sandalwood with me? I like it huh? very much. Now you might be wondering, why won't Bert retire? Well, he tried it once after 48 years of working at Denver Health, but eh. As long as I'm doing something, I'm busy, I'm healthy. Just move all the time. But maybe it's because constantly moving is really all Bert has ever known. I was six years old. Six. And where in Germany were you born? Breslau. Like my grandfather, being Jewish also forced Bert's family to have to leave Germany in the late 1930s. Only Bert's family landed in China. I had nothing to eat. My shoes had no soles on them. We put cardboard in them. After 10 years, they finally reached America and eventually landed in Denver, although not all at the same time. And now Bert is the only one left from his family, a family and a heritage that he's still very proud of. I am a Jew. I was born one and I'm going to die one. I went to bed hungry for 10 years to wear this. And now, thankfully, Bert has found a second family here at Sandalwood, a family that he will never let go hungry. Since I had so much trouble because of my religion, I feel gratified that I can now translate my service, my energy, to people who no longer can do it themselves. Come on in. In Wheat Ridge, Danny New, <laughs> Denver 7. I love Bert, and you saw earlier he makes that Bert spread for the residents every week. Mm -hmm. When we left, he demanded that I give a fresh slice of Bert's bread to his favorite meteorologist, Mike Nelson. Oh. We watched it every night after work. There was oh, nice. Mike holding uh. Bert's bread. And then that made Bert so happy that he framed it and took it <laughs> to the kitchen at Sandalwood, where now oh, Mike wow. resides permanently, a permanent residence with Bert's bread uh, in the kitchen. With Bert. God, what a powerful story. It, wow. Go from being hungry to now feeding mm -hmm. others. Yeah, I mean, you just think about it like, he left Germany when he was six. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. how do you live a normal life after mm -hmm. seeing no. all of that and then no. escaping and going hungry for so long? Right. Uh, but this is how he can show people mm -hmm. his love in a, in a world that's been tough to him. He cooks for them, oh. yeah. and including Mike Nelson, his favorite person <laughs> so on the grateful. planet.